Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing something that's definitely out of my comfort zone. I'm gonna be attempting Instagram makeup. Ever since I started watching YouTube videos, the number one videos that I always watch are makeup tutorials. Never watched one and actually applied it to my face. I guess let's just Let's just get started. The um, YouTube video that I'm going to follow is by a YouTuber named Jamie Genevieve. This was the one video that I found that I think I like have the basic components to complete this look. I'm probably not going to have 99% of like what the what she's using. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not professional in any of the slightest. I think it's Makeup's really fun and really cool, and it's a cool um, medium to express yourself. Um, I think I'm gonna be really bad, but not with that attitude. So Jamie Genevieve is gonna teach us how to create Hollywood makeup and body glow tutorial. Um, yeah, so let's do it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been easy, quickly. I think she's Scottish. That's so cool. Okay, I didn't know that. I love her. I am obviously a little bit darker than usual during the summertime, so yeah. It's really pretty. I also washed my face right before filming, which I've noticed that that should be done. So that's what I did. I'm gonna go in with Benefit. I know they do this a lot. Benefit Pore Professional primer it's really tiny and i have when i've watched youtube videos um they usually prime the skin first and this one was a popular one so i'm just gonna take that all over my face just to kind of prime the skin before applying anything um and i have used this before and i really I really like it. I like it because it's good at concealing pores. So, who doesn't like that? This is my like form of before makeup stuff, whatever. You, you know what I mean? We're good to go. Next up, we have foundation. This is the All Over's foundation for YSL. <sighs> That's so funny. I actually have a YSL foundation. I actually really like this. The only problem is that it's really, really light. And when I got this, I was pale. <laughs> and now I'm not. So this is gonna be very interesting. And it's probably not gonna match my face, but it's the only foundation that I own. And she's using foundation, so we're gonna do it. I'm gonna take one and a half pumps. One and a half, so. One and a half. Oh, it's really runny. I have a, um, okay, so she's just going in, let's see how she's doing. All over the face, and even though we're doing a super glowy look, I want to have a super flawless base, nice and full coverage. The color that I'm using is B60, I think I said BB60 before, but it's B60. Okay, this is very light. We're just going to use this all over, get a nice full coverage. And I get loads of requests from you guys asking me to do like a holiday tutorial. Alright, well she's- I'm gonna pause her right now because she's just going in. Alright, not bad. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I actually need more, whoa. We're caking it today. Never used this much in my life. But Jamie is using a lot, so we are going to follow her today. Okay, it's really not as bad as I thought. I thought it was going to be a lot lighter. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. I have faith that it's all going to work out. Oh my god, wait, it's really light on my forehead. Ooh, okay. Stay calm. I'm just gonna go in on the center of my face with a little bit more product. Build that up. She said the next center of her face with a little bit more product. 
Good thing I have more on my hands. All right, come on, Jamie. Hopefully we'll be looking a little more bronze than this. Well, that was kind of my fault, but that's done. That was, um, no comment. Product is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. Concealer. Concealer, I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I actually use this regularly. This is in the shade, I forgot to say my shade in the foundation. Excuse me. The shade I am in in this foundation, this is the YSL Touche Eclat. That sounded really disgusting. I am shade B40, but way too light as we can see. So then in the Radiant Creamy Concealer, I am shade Chenille. Let's see what she does with this bad boy. Enough coverage to highlight and to cover up any kind of darkness underneath the eyes. And then just kind of... Okay, so she's applying it to her under eye area. Cupid's bow and chin. Also, she has it on the bridge of her nose and forehead. Oh my god, I look crazy. She's just blending it out with the same brush. Why do I look like scary? This is the Tarte Shape Feet Eye Primer. Don't have that. Eye primer. I got this for free. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I got this when I got something at Ulta. They like gave it to me. Or whatever it was really nice of them so thank you okay well she's using it like over her eye it's gonna go like this oh my god that was a lot like damn i also got my eyebrows done today so i was really hashtag committed to this video Who knows i don't know what i look like right now in the camera so i could look really beautiful oh my god i look frightening and then what we're gonna do is just slightly powder so we're gonna powder our powder Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder Oh my god, this is so old. I don't even know what brand this is. She's using that over her eye. I'm using, oh, I'm using a concealer brush. Don't know where I got this. Am my Hollywood glam yet? I'm them, so don't worry too much about your shade. I'm gonna powder under my eyes. Oh, I okay, for bronze. I didn't powder under my eyes. <gasps> I don't think I'm using the right brush, but we all have our thing. Okay. That's fine. Let's just put that away and move on. I'm using my Elsie bronzer. This bronzer. I have that. This is the Benefit Hula Mini. The shade Tan. I'm very excited. This is in the shade. I get this brand on Beauty Bay now, but it's quite hard for bronze. us to get for doesn't have a shade, so I'm just going to call it bronze. So it looks like a powdery brush that she's using, so I have this. Doesn't have a name. Small, She's using a lot. Don't go too heavy with your first. Oops. And she bronzes up here or whatever. She says to go in a little more because this is a summer Hollywood look. <laughs> whatever that means. Oh my god. All right. That's enough of that. Your bronzer. Go on with an eyeshadow brush, and we're just going to use the bronzer. To eyeshadow brush, blending brush, same thing I guess. Oh, so nice. she's taking the same brown bronzer and she's going into this part of the eye. Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, this looks like crap. Because we've got our base on, it's picking up the product just like an eyeshadow. Cool. Sure it's like all the way up here. Um, this doesn't look like it's doing anything. It's putting it. Just under, the eye. under the eye. And it looks like barely anything, but that's what we want. That's Perfect. Nice. Stop oh my gosh, my she's eyes. going very fast. I look like I just got punched in the face. I'm going with highlighter. So this is, guys, it's been wild. This is Becca Opal. This was my absolute face babe. Don't have that. This is Milani in the Styles Strobe Light Sun Glow. Literally. Oh, it was that easy. It wasn't open when I got it. Couldn't try it out, so we'll see. How did it with the eyes? Wait, I'm so disappointed. I had a eyeshadow palette to, you know what? 
past that. Okay guys, we are going to add a little bit more to the eye because I didn't get this palette for it to sit in a dusty draw. This is the only palette I own. It is ColourPop Double Entendre. Really nice shades actually. I got this because it has a lot of like warm shades that I would actually use in my life. I'm just gonna take the same brush. <laughs> don't have another one. Just clean it off like that. I'm really professional, as we can see. This color called Nip Slip, which is the color right here. We've all had a few of those every once in a while. Am I right, ladies? Go in literally on my eye. That's actually really nice. And then we're just gonna kind of darken up this area. Go on this color right here. Actually, this, uh, actually, Teddy Bear or Hot bod. You know what? Hot bod. Hot bod is going on my crease. This is so bad, you guys. We're gonna go in with Na Naked, which is right here, because we're going full out. I'm gonna deepen that up a little bit. Just a little bit. Halt. Let's watch her again. I have a little bad boy like this. Go like this, I think. Then we're gonna go in with Milani highlighter and uh, just freaking go. Um, there's literally nothing coming off of this. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I've never done this before, I feel so cool. Whoa. So she says do all the high points of her face. The nose. Above her eyebrow. Above her eyebrow. Taking the same brush, because I'm disgusting. I'm going like all out because when I commit to something, I don't half-ass anything, ever. And for eyes, we're gonna do mascara and lashes. And she's not doing any eyeliner. My 24 hour brow set. Don't have that. We're using this really faded Maybelline pencil. Let's hope they don't look like bricks. And feel free to kind of- So now she is, what is she doing? The lashes. You know what? We're gonna do a wing. This was the Kat Von D tattoo liner, and it's very faded because I had this for uh, years. I'm Let's leave that because I don't want to ruin it. Okay, now we're gonna go back to Jamie. Sensational lash multiplying mascara. This is just a really nice mascara. I actually have that. I've been using this in a long time. This mascara is called one of those brushes that hugs your eyeball. It definitely is eyeball hugging. Like a nice warm hug. The lashes I'm using, by the way, are Lily Lashes. <laughs> <Ooh>. <clears throat> Sorry, I burped. The lashes I'm using are not Lily Lashes, because I don't know what, what those are. I'm using Ardell <laughs> Natural Lashes. They're already in the place they need to be. Now we're just waiting for our lashes. Um, okay, there's literally a white film on my eye. Is that normal? Even though there's, like, glue on my eye, not bad. Ooh. Ooh. I'll just do this over again so we're extra glowy glow. Just glue to the bottom of my eye. Oh, so we're contouring now. I'm going in with the same one to snatch the nose, if that's what the kids are calling it. Or lips, I thought that I would do a bold lip, and I'm gonna go with just a classic lip. This is the part I'm really excited really for. Really this is a red lip, and I think it's gonna bring the whole look together. So we're gonna line our lips. Um, so when I was at Ulta today, I tried to get the same color, but now that I'm looking at it, it's not the same. That's what happens when you don't have good memory. Oh, and I forgot to say the name of this. This is the liquid lipstick and the name of the <gasps> I have the same color as her. See what I mean? Very pigmented. So I'm not going to let my hair down because it's really greasy. This is my finished look. Start to finish. Makeup, Instagram, baddie. YouTube tutorial slash 
a lot of makeup. Honestly, I don't feel that cakey. I thought I would feel a lot more cakey doing this. So yeah, if you guys like this, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and yada yada yada. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video.